Yeah, we're doing Oracle of Ages now. And we're probably going to beat this one today, too. I am kind of reeling at that Trials of Mana finish. Quite, quite satisfied with that, too. Like, I, like that ending kind of fortified my decision to not want to stream the uh, post game. I think that that was a satisfying finish for me anyway. I mean, it, there's millions of other videos online that, or, or, or streamers for that matter, that will play the full game. So uh, if that bothers anybody, well, uh, da, 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 sh, sh, sh. go look at the post game from another person. <laughs> Don't mean to be rude, but that's just me. As usual, this is taking a hot minute to get prepared. I don't know why, but uh, Oracle of Ages always is a bit of a pain to get fired up. It's because uh, it's like, all right, you got me here. Now what? Okay, cool. Now you, you like you loaded me up. Well, I ain't fucking with you yet. Keep going. <laughs> like it, it uh, loves to make me work, and then I have to make sure it's in the uh, borders of my stream appropriately. See, like, right now, it's not even remotely close. Got it? Yeah, we're looking good now, baby. Welcome to what's probably the finale to Oracle of Ages 2. Knocking out two games tonight. No, it, this actually, it does sound kind of quiet, doesn't it? I fixed that. Let me fix that. Let's see here. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty low. Let me bump that up. That's better, right? I think that's better. Now... Oh my god, I, I keep forgetting that I have three hearts. So I'm, I'm here thinking, man, this final dungeon in Varen is gonna be quick. I'm... I'm in trouble. I'm in danger. <laughs> so we have the final job to do and that job is not going to be a simple task but I do know where we have to go I think I have to go back in time no I have to I do have to go back in time that was a that is a misclick I meant to uh, press the, the sword button this button let's switch out and now that we're finally in here, I can finally talk about uh, Super Mario 3D World, actually. Because I didn't get to talk about that at all in Trials of Mana. I didn't. I don't know how long this conversation is going to go. Because I, I can. I can really piss and shit about stuff a lot. And uh, I have to say that Mario 3D World announcement. It might have been super expected. It still made me very happy. I, I wholeheartedly, in my opinion, think that Super Mario 3D World is probably the best Mario game still. For me, anyway. I think that's way better than uh, Odyssey. I'm not saying Odyssey's bad. I'm saying I prefer 3D World. Tales tell of giant ruins out east in the Sea of No Return. I can't do a good pirate voice, so you're gonna have to bear with whatever fucking garbage comes out of my mouth. If you got to go to the ruins out east, you can never return. And I play a lot of Sea of Thieves. You'd think I know a thing or two about, uh, sea shanty voice. Captain isn't thinking about a thing. How long have we been out thrift? Sailing the seas is every man's dream. It was great to so gallantly sail off to me dreams. But we got stuck in the sea of storms and can't get out. Har, you got the Zora scale, sea chum. Aye, that could calm the sea of storms. How about you give me that Zora scale? Thank you. You're a good man. Oh, hi, mateys. We're off to Oladrum, the land of seasons. That's a cute hint there. That's literally where we're headed to next. Go figure. Can I come with? Thank you. Now we can escape these seas. Take this as a sign of me thanks. It's the jewel called the Toke Eyeball. It's said to be the thing that opens the way to the ancient tomb. I don't know if it's true or not, though. 
Ow. Ah, that was loud. Damn. And then it kicked me out. You really upped this out. Aye, we found that Toka eyeball on Crescent Island. Maybe you should head that way. We're off now. Ahoy, mateys. But yeah, no, 3D World looks stunning. I think that uh, 3D World is currently still the best Zelda game. Zelda game! I really said that. The best Mario game. I really, I really fucking said that. I'm tired. <laughs> I think it's one of the best Mario games. Mario Odyssey's great. No lie, it's great. But I think it, I don't think I can actually do this here. I should probably go outside before I do that. I think Mario Odyssey has a lot of problems that aren't exactly true problems. Like, Mario Odyssey is a collect-a-thon game. You're running around, you're collecting shit. Yeah, you know what? I want to play Banjo Kazooie. That's a huge collect-a-thon game. I want to play Donkey Kong 64. That's another big collect-a-thon game. But those games have a lot to collect, while all you're collecting in Odyssey are moons, and almost... Th I'm gonna be pulling this number out of my ass, but I feel like it's gonna be decently accurate, or within the ballpark. Uh, a lot of Odyssey's moons are very nothing moons. Sit on a bench. Grow a plant. Look in this little crevice under some water. And there you go. You got your moon. I'm not... I'm not too thrilled about that, to be honest. And it irks me that I can say that about Odyssey, because I do love the game. I think Odyssey's still a great game. Just what you got to do in it really wasn't all that enticing. And I think another crucial element of Mario Odyssey that would probably bolster its uh, ranking with me is if New Donk City was the final level. Hey, Ouija! Oh my goodness, thank you for the 100 bits! What a cute little heart. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Like, I wasn't... It goes to show how little I get to pay attention to bits. I, I thought that the only bit emote that there was was the crystal. I didn't know there was a heart, too. No, uh, with Odyssey, I feel like if New Donk City was the last... Show your courage, wisdom, and power, the road to the past shall then open. If New Donk City was the last level... I can't get this fucking word out. Uh, I think the game would be higher on my list. I'd probably enjoy Odyssey a lot more. Or at least I'd consider it higher up there. But because New Donk City is literally in the middle of the game, I feel like the game climaxed way too early. Because you have so much more you still have to do. And then your final level on the moon doesn't live up to the, like, incredible high that the ending the New Donk City gave you. I mean, shit! There was a whole, like, Mario... party. <laughs> I didn't want to say Mario party. But it really was a whole Mario shebang. Yes, climax. Is there, is actually, I feel like there's another C word that I'm forgetting for that. What's it, what is it called when a movie reaches the highest point it can get? The, I feel like there's another C word there that isn't just climax that I am neglecting to use. And I've used it before! I know I've used it before, but for some reason I can't remember it now. Yeah, right? <laughs> I feel like that I've used this word before, but now it's just not even lost to me like how I usually forget words. Like, it's gone. <laughs> like, I remember nothing. Isn't there a way to tell... What? I feel like there's a way to tell where you go next with this. Oh, I know what you have to do. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, fuck. But yeah, that's basically my thoughts on, like, Odyssey versus 3D World. Just, if Odyssey didn't end on the moon, like, the the, the, the the final part with Bowser running around and, like, your your Bowser, that was great. That was fun. I enjoyed that a lot. 
but it still doesn't equate to fighting Meowser up the tower, and you have to, like, escape him while he's chasing you. That was incredible. But I, I, I don't know what's going on at Nintendo, but they really, really do like the uh, city aesthetic for Mario anything. It's like big climactic Mario battles recently have taken place in a city aesthetic. I want more of that, personally. And maybe we'll get that because uh, 3D World is kind of like... I don't, I don't really know what to consider it yet. Because with 3D World, we're also going to be getting a thing called uh, Bowser's Fury, which is going to be a new bit of content for 3D World. And I don't know yet what it actually entails. It almost looks like another hub world, but Mario 3D World already had a hub world. Not, not like your typical 3D jumping around... Oh, fuck. Not your typical 3D jumping around hub world, but they had a hub world. But this one looks like 3D, like you can jump around everywhere. It's making me almost think of the hub world in Splatoon 1 and 2. Because you could do shit in there. But maybe that's just like a level, I'm not sure yet. It, it, it's, it's very up in the air on what Bowser's Fury is, and it's only gonna be worse for me, personally. Because we have to wait until February to play it. Like, that's what, that's what hurts me. Oh! God damn it. to jump? <sighs> oh my god, I'm dead. I keep pushing it for too long and then I fall in the hole. I think that Bowser's Fury is probably going to end up being a challenge mode when the game already has a pretty substantial challenge mode because 3d world in my opinion still has the most content of any mario game and it keeps on unlocking more you, you beat the main game you get access to this like extra set of bonus levels you beat that set of bonus levels you get access access to even more bonus levels you beat those bonus levels you get the hardest fucking mario level in existence and another bonus level and now you get to, uh, like, slap Bowser's Fury on top of that. Mario 3D World is going to be, yet again, the girthiest Mario title to date. And I want it. Alright, we're gonna be, we're gonna be stupid for a minute. Uh, we're gonna be extra stupid for a minute, because I'm tired of this. Do I have a Pegasus? I do! Good! I, ne I never actually did that maze. So that's why I was like, well, I wanna do it. I wanna see if I can do it. I died in the cave, guys. I'm sorry. Final theme. I don't have a potion. 
I only have three hearts. Struggle may be pretty hard on this one. But we'll make through. Now I need to ask a question. I forget. Like I've forgotten most of the game, ironically enough. Can I have the Biggeron Sword before going over to Seasons? Or do I need to have that transfer first? Nope, nope, not fighting you guys. Blue is tough. Don't fight the blue enemies. If you can, anyway. If you can skip past them, do it. So you can't get the big round sword until secrets. Okay. Then I don't need to worry about it. I'm gonna do some stuff off stream with this game once I beat it so that we're prepped and ready to go for uh, seasons. But don't worry, I'm not picking up a heart still. I'm actually quite impressed that I didn't grab a single heart piece this entire run outside of the three that I had gotten before I made the challenge to myself. Level eight, ancient tomb. Now, just for safety, I'm gonna be saving it right here too. I don't know if that uh, that soft lock is gonna happen again, and I don't want to deal with it if it does. This dungeon isn't as hard as the other dungeons that we had to deal with. Mr. Owl, what's the final bit of advice you're gonna give to me? Open your ears to the sound of a sword against a wall. Okay. Is it near you? these walls. Do I gotta push something? I already broke these walls. About to go back? I'm afraid to press the, men the uh, map button. I did push the statues, none of them want to move. Oh, hello. There we go. I was just pushing the wrong one. Ooh. Keep away, Mr. Krabby! No! sword beams. I feel bad that I had to wait all the way to Dungeon 7 to get access to them. What's funny enough is that, uh, despite my excitement for Mario 3D World, it almost beat my, uh, immense excitement that I still have for, uh, Genshin Impact, which, again, will be releasing September 28th, two days before my birthday. And again, that game's gonna be free and I'm probably gonna play the shit out of it. I'm probably gonna stream it the first night that it's out. I'm not gonna stick to keeping myself active on it the entire time. Like I, I, uh, I don't want to have all my progress be on stream because it's an MMO. 
If I did that, I'd be, like, hurt myself. But, I'm definitely gonna stream the first few hours of the game, because it's, it's Breath of the Wild, the anime. And it's got, like, good cutscenes, and the characters look great. They announced another new character today, which, uh, I mean, uh, I, I guess if you, if you like, if you like zombie girls, you'll like her. She's a Jiang Shi, like, like Shenko. That's pretty cool. I didn't actually know that that was a, uh, this goes to show how uncultured I am. I didn't know that there was, like, a whole line of, uh, zombie types that had the, uh, the charm on their forehead. I thought that that was a thing to Toho, and I guess you could call me an absolute jerk for thinking that. But, uh, there's a character in Toho called Yoshika, who had that charm in front of her forehead. And I did it in, like, that's like a thing for Jiang Shi's. Like, that, that charm symbolizes that, uh, there's an owner for them, and they'll listen to that owner's command. Shenko, like I mentioned, has one of those. She has, like, the little charm on her forehead. I never noticed until my friend pointed that out. I never knew. I thought Shanko was just a zombie. I didn't know that she was a uh, Jiang Shi. So, jokes on me. I'm an uncultured buffoon. But it looks cool. I never knew about it until uh, Yoshika, and I thought Yoshika was like a special case. this dungeon way more than uh, Jabu Jabu. And I ironically, while Ages is the game with the more thinky difficult dungeons, its Ace dungeon really isn't too difficult. It's it's not it's not easy, but it's not super hard either. But the season's third dungeon can be pretty fucking frustrating if you don't pay attention to what you're doing. That third dungeon has a lot of extra bullshit you have to do that you didn't have to do in other dungeons. Making it a pretty substantially fun dungeon, in my opinion. I hope President of Wild 2 brings the good dungeons back. Should I hit that? I don't think I should do that, right? I need water. Hold on. Mm. Oh my god. I'm very surprised that I am still as talkative as I am. That G Fuel is working wonders. Though, I was a little worried today, and I think it's, it ends up boiling back down to my diet. Because I had my uh, G Fuel at 5, and I felt a little low before the stream. I'm fine now. But... I think that had to do with uh, the problem that I feel like I've been having, and that is that uh, while I don't have substantial meals anymore, I think whenever my body is just processing food, it's just a shitty time for me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to enjoy myself when my body's processing food. I think that's like how it's going to be for, for the rest of my life. So I, uh, I think whenever I have a stream day, while I'm not going to, I'm obviously going to eat, I'm probably going to try to have like a good quote unquote meal for stream days. That way my body doesn't have to worry about whatever it's worrying about in there. You hear that, you motherfucker? Get better. It's been a year. Of, almost a year, actually. Almost a year since I had started Ring Fit Adventure and improving myself. I have uh, I guess I can finally say this, really. Uh, the last time I weighed myself uh, was... I lost a lot more weight than I thought I did. And, uh... With absolute certainty, I can say now that I've lost a uh, hundred plus pounds. I've lost a hundred pounds from Ring Fit and dieting. That is insane. Can I be like a badass? Nope, I can't. Uh. Throw a bomb, maybe?
Oh. Well, hold on. Oh, he's back here. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I have to go that way for the circle, don't I? I don't have a whole lot else to say on that. Just... Oh, shit. I need to go around then. It feels good that I lost so much weight. I can't personally believe it. Like, years prior, I'd be walking in my park one to three laps a day. Like, that doesn't sound like a lot, but when I was bigger, that was kind of really difficult for me. But now it's not. It's like, I, I can do it effortlessly. I, like, I went for a walk the other day. I did a shitload of laps. It felt great, and I wanted to do more. And, uh... Back then, when I was doing them, I didn't... I thought I was doing much. I thought I was doing, like, a lot more than I apparently was, because I didn't end up losing a whole lot of weight. And it's supposed to show that, uh, you gotta do a lot more if you want to actually shed the pounds. You can't just walk. People tell you, go out for a walk every day. You'll, you'll, if you're being more active, you'll lose weight that way. It's like, no. You gotta, you gotta do a lot more than that, and you have to diet. Like, you have to actually diet. And you can't cheat your diet either. Ooh! Now, when I say cheat your diet, though, I don't mean that you can't have a food you like. I mean, you have to have less of it. I feel like there's a wall here. I remember a wall. Or am I thinking of Dungeon 8 and Awakening? I'm thinking Dungeon 8 and Awakening. Like, I really enjoy uh, pizza. I enjoy a good burg. I enjoy all that stuff. And it's okay to enjoy those, really. Just in moderation. I used to be able to eat four slices of pizza whenever we got pizza. Now I can't even imagine eating four slices of pizza. I have two and some bread and some almond milk, if almond milk is there. Otherwise, it's water or regular milk. Man, I sound boring. <laughs> but... Despite that, if I had that food, like, as long as I ate that much, as long as, as long as you know what's going in your body, you can still end up enjoying the shit you like. Like, it's, it's not actually a myth. Like, when those stupid, like, actually uh, faulty things to like, slim fast, like, eat what you want, drink this, and you'll lose weight. That's a lie. <laughs> but you can eat what you want if you moderate what you're doing. Instead of, uh, instead of that giant fucking fat-ass burger you're looking at, make that burger a little bit smaller. Or maybe, instead of making it a burger, make it like a, a meatloaf, a tasty little meatloaf, perhaps seasoned the way you would season a burger. Because then, if, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you could not have the bun with it because of that and the bun is kind of where a lot of the fat comes from because in general the like carbs carbs is the thing that sticks with you that's the stuff where a lot of your fat comes from if you, if you can lower your carb intake you'll end up losing a lot of weight on that alone not not without work again mind you i want to kill that guy before i even start fucking moving get over you bastard he ain't gonna come close to me did I already fuck up? No, I didn't. I'm on the right path. Whoop. I love these, even though they're so annoyingly loud. I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up. Maybe not? Oh, I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. You have to go that way then? No, you have to end over there. Hmm. I, I think I see where I have to go. I think I fucked up again. 
No! Oh my god, I'm actually like thinking this one through now. I, I'm usually pretty good at these, but this one's uh substantial. I think I fucked up again. Damn it! Oh. I'm surprised I'm struggling. I'm actually pretty good at these, but... Mm. Hard in my silence. I'm gonna have to think about this for a minute. Welcome to Puzzle Land with Chase. Can I take your order? up again, didn't I? I can't come back from that. Oh boy! Oh boy! It has to end there. How can I make it end there? Still a fuck up. Hmm. Wow. I'm struggling here. I'll get it. This is definitely not the right answer. Nope. Nor is that one. Yeah, I, I can tell you have to start on the right. But I don't know how much I'm supposed to take from that whole chunk while I'm going down there.
have to avoid making corners, really. I was trying to map it by moving. I think I had it. I think I had it. Let's try that again. I'll go with the flow this time. I got it. Yep, I got it. Got him. Too much thinky. My brain hurt. Now you see, that's the kind of puzzle I love. Uh, I'm sorry, Breath of the Wild. Your shrines are great. They really are. But I love me some walking in a certain pattern puzzles. I'm a simple man. You see, right here, like this too. Going back to the Super Mario 35 topic. That game, like, if we jump that over to Zelda, it would work. Because... You know what Tetris is doing? Every other month, I think, they're having different, like, skins and themes for Tetris. You could do that for a Zelda. For a Zelda 40. 40 Zeldas, and they're in different, like, styles. You could have the Link to the Past. Oh, my God. I didn't even think about that until I uttered it from my mouth. The Link to the Past style as a style that you can, like, do dungeons in. The NES Zelda style, that would be the easiest one. This style... You could have the Oracle slash Awakening style for like a uh, aesthetic to use for the game. It writes itself. And you know what it also does? Nintendo? Prints money. <laughs> Though I don't I don't know if they're gonna have any microtransactions or anything for uh Tetri for Mario 35. Probably not. I mean they don't have micros for Tetris 99, right? Tetris 99 is a pretty much like happy go lucky little game. They're hitting me for a whole ass heart. Oh shit, do I really have to run through this whole thing? seem to spawn in that little corner there. Kind of a non-threatening hand attack? Is that what we can call it? A non-threatening hand attack? Can I get back to my place? I don't have to go around, do I? Oh god, I'm about to go around. Yep. Let's go to the right. Uh. Let's be more careful this time. You know what I kind of want to play? Not, it's not a game in particular, but I, 
I'm kind of getting the hankering to, to like stream ROM hacks of some sort. I don't know. It's a silly thought because ROM hacks are kind of difficult to stream, at least to my quality preferences. Like I still don't know how uh, a streamer did it. Like there's a there's this guy I watch, Scott Falco. He's a great dude. The original creator of uh, that fun Newgrounds song. That haunts my dreams. He was playing uh, the ROM hack Jiggies in Time, but his whole everything was running smooth. He had, like he had 60 FPS. The graphics were looking okay. Like everything was very quality. And uh, if you know me, I give a damn about quality. I I don't know how he did it though. If he's using a certain uh, emulator or not. Oh shit. This is the... This is the cannon fight! Oh god. Oh lord. Please don't kill me. Nope. 3 HP is going to make this very troublesome. Can I speed this up? And some. Some may turn to the dark arts and cheat. I'm not cheating though. Uh, well, I'm this. I did get really lucky, and uh, don't tell Nexon this. But I was able to acquire. Shh. Cheat engine. It might sound like it's a simple thing to get. But the official cheat engine site, whenever I clicked on the link, the link to download that damn thing, it always sent me to an ad that was probably virus filled if I clicked one more time. So I never fucking got it, but I was able to acquire it from a uh, safe place and was promptly able to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while in Monster Hunter and that is rename my damn character. Don't sue me Capcom. I chose the wrong name from the get-go, and now I got her with the correct name. It only took... two years to do that? <laughs> it took two years to get what I wanted out of that. And it was worth it. So now her whole thing's complete and just in time for uh, Fatalis next month. I... might... stream that. Don't... Don't hold your breath. I might stream the Fatalis fight. I don't know. I, I feel like I'd have uh, more interest in streaming the extra content if I had other friends that wanted to play it with me at the exact same time. Because I have friends that play Monster Hunter, but they don't really care about the extra content. Nobody that I, I only had one friend that wanted to do Safi Jiva. Nobody wanted to do Kovic Roth. Uh, nobody wanted to do Elatrion. I was alone in all those, and like I can have fun and play them alone, but if it came to streaming, I'd probably enjoy having a friend or two for what is probably going to be the final update to Monster Hunter. And now there's all these rumors of a Monster Hunter 5 portable on the Switch. That sounds fun. Can I block this? Why block when you can dodge? Oh my god. Stop running into me. Why aren't they popping? Nice snipe. Yay! I did it! Oh, that's right! I forgot. 
there's something else that I'm going to be streaming here soon, too. I'm waiting for him to finish it, though. I'm waiting for Mr. Rubber Ross to finish his uh, 40 level Mario Maker 2 world. I'm super hyped to give that a try. I don't think I'm going to stream the full thing, obviously, because his levels are pretty darn hard, and uh, I'm not too interested in streaming my endless Mario struggles, considering a good few of his stages are uh, New Super Mario Bros., and I. I don't care for that theme that much. I, I think I got pretty burned out on Mario, a new Super Mario Brothers, with the four of them that got made back to fucking back. I hope that doesn't happen to uh to Zelda thanks to the success of Breath of the Wild, because that's why that's why Mario, uh, new Super Mario Brothers, ended up getting remade so much. New Super Mario Bros. on the DS sold incredibly well. New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii sold even better! So they kept on making them. And people got bored of it. I, and that Breath of the Wild has ended up being a monumental success. I, uh... I worry that the Breath of the Wild formula will be what they turn to when they think of a good Zelda game again. And I don't want them to do that. Cause Zelda, because Breath of the Wild is a good Zelda game. But we don't need that every time, do we? I say that fully knowing how hypocritical I sound with uh, wanting the original formula which we've had for ages already. Haha, <laughs> see, I made it funny. Ages. <laughs> uh oh. I reacted too late. I'm gonna hold the button now. That didn't work! It still hit me? I want somebody to uh, go to Shigeru. Go up to Shigeru Miyamoto and be like, Hey man, do you love your hamster? Your old dead hamster? The way you love Mario 64. Because <laughs> you're sure treating it like shit right now. I'm only mentioning that because uh, I listened to a another Did You Know Gaming video about Mario facts. And one fact that they brought up was that uh, one of the reasons for why Mario 64 was this big, like, like each level was like this bustling whatever place, like, uh, everything, there's a ton of stuff to do and you felt really small in it, it's because he got inspired by watching his hamster run around his house and, like, do shit, and that is what inspired him to want to make levels akin to that. So, the next time you play Mario 64, just remember that a hamster helped make that game a reality. You owe it to all hamsters. Now, if only the love he had for his hamster could be put forth to a Mario 64 remake or up res. I think that make a lot of people happy. It make me happy, but I'm an easy to please individual. Though I still say that uh, I would much rather have the DS version than an up res Mario 64 any day. I, I, when that announcement went out, I immediately went and grabbed Mario 64 DS to play. Because I'd rather be playing that. <laughs> I'll still, I'm still gonna have 3D All-Stars, and I, and I may even stream playing Mario Galaxy. I don't know how that's gonna fare. I don't think, uh, it's gonna work out well with me using the, uh, drifting Joy-Cons to make shit work. But we'll see. These guys are gonna kill me, aren't they? Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna walk in there with myself! I thought I would stop moving 
when I was holding the button down. Now where do I go? I'm not that far away from where I was at all, okay. I left that guy twice. They hit me for a whole heart. Are you serious? And... Three heart runs are fucking a nightmare in this game. If I had that, uh... If I had that ring, I'd be fine. But I didn't find it. I wonder if I should consider, uh, locating that ring before I start Seasons. Because I think I know what we're streaming Monday. And I think I know that it's going to be the only thing we're streaming Monday. And that's CrossCode. I have waited long enough. I want to play CrossCode. Dragon's Dogma is still on the agenda. Genshin Impact is going to obviously be on the agenda. Just, I, I can't... I can't ignore CrossCode anymore, damn it. <laughs> I want to play that game. The, the, the desire has been there ever since the first day, the first night. It wowed the shit out of me. And I'm, I'm more curious to see if that game will end up taking the title from Undertale for me as the best indie game I've played. Because uh, Undertale is going to... It's just number one. It's number one for me. And I'm wondering if CrossCode can be a contender for that. No, no! Hell, am I going? Oh, yeah. I found something before I started to stream, like, literally right before. Last year, Nintendo, Mr. Nintendi, he filed a lot of, uh, claims for things for Mr. Mario. Like, you know, shoes, backpacks, Lego, all that stuff. That was last year. Obviously, in preparation for Mario's 35th anniversary. Lo and behold, quite a few of those things got showed off at the Direct. August of this year, all very similar claims were made for uh, Legend of Zelda. Meaning they're probably going to be doing something very similar and very bombastic for Zelda's 35th. But that, while I, while I, what I remembered isn't entirely related, I still think it's uh, worth noting. And that is a claim, not just a trademark, but like, uh, there, there's, it's like a brand new IP has surfaced. From Camelot. And all we know is the abbreviation. You want to know what that abbreviation was? GSHD. I'm 
going to go on record saying I don't know the validity of that. I don't think that entirely is super big. Because usually, whenever you're dealing with trademarks, they're not that big of a deal. All companies all the time will renew trademarks to prevent like any sort of like, you know, legal trouble down the line. That's normal. But this is a new trademark for something that doesn't exist yet. So I think it was. I think it's worth bringing up that the possibility of a Golden Sun. HD remake is in is in consideration, and I think that that would be a good idea because uh, I saw a whole conversation about this uh, where I found this particular bit of information, and there's a lot of people like, well, where, why don't you just do Golden Sun 4? What are you doing? Like, why? I don't, we don't want HD. And it's like the game's been absent for 10 plus years. The last game we got for Golden Sun was Dark Dawn. 10 years ago on the DS. I think that to gauge interest on whether or not people still want Golden Sun, making an HD remake is probably the best bet. I think it's a good idea. I don't, again, I don't know how true that is. But reacquainting fans or new players to Golden Sun is probably the smartest approach if it's true. I know that uh, it wouldn't be a smart idea to just drop Golden Sun 4 with everything that happened between uh, Felix, Isaac, and Alex. I, I wouldn't want that to happen again. Like, like the, people being confused about what's actually going on, that would probably not go over well with new fans. It, it would be a situation that a lot of uh, developers think about when they're t talking about numbering their games. like. Like, one of the key problems that Capcom always talked about with uh, Monster Hunter was that they didn't want people to come out to Monster Hunter thinking, oh, well, I guess I gotta play the four other games to know how to play Monster Hunter 5. And that's why, when it came to making this brand new Monster Hunter that was completely different from all the other ones that they played with Monster Hunter World, instead of naming it Monster Hunter 5, they named it Monster Hunter World. So you could go right into it, not have to worry about the stuff that happened before it. I think they could do they could do the same for Golden Sun. Don't make a Golden Sun 4 yet. Did I fuck it up? Did I folk up? Oh shit. I could have gotten that. Aww. Oh. I could have gotten that before I got here. Oops. I just completed the full dungeon pretty effortlessly while I was babbling on. It's over here, right? I'm trying to forget where it is. Okay. And now I can't go that way. Uh-oh. Is that even the right way? Oh, okay, all right, nope. Never mind. I thought I had to be on the other side first, and then this would be the, the way out. Nope. I'm stupid. I was wondering what I was going to do. 
see how easy that dungeon was compared to the struggle I had with Jabu Jabu. I was stuck there for ages. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh-oh. I forget how to fight him. I think you have to shoot him and then grab his hand. Ah! I think I have to shoot him. Oh! Oh! Okay, alright, alright. I know what to do. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I have to do what the mini boss taught me. This is harder than it looks. Round two. Now I think we shoot him. No, we have to drop a bomb. And he crushes it. We shoot him. Oh, can I not reflect that? And these are grabbies. This is the Probably the scariest one. Okay. Ah! What? Oh, I have to... I have to grab the one that isn't thrown? That was annoying. I'm remembering all of this on the spot. <laughs> And I'm now more terrified than ever for Varen. I might want to actually look for Maple and hope she drops a potion for me. Because I'm probably going to get blasted by Varen. And I'm going to feel like that dude on a Zeldathon uh, two years ago. I think, I think it was Zeldathon or it was an AGDQ or something. He just couldn't beat Varen. He was struggling so hard to beat Varen. I felt bad. That's about to be me. These pots have scent seeds. Can I shoot him with ember? Okay, there we go. I have to be very careful with my scent seeds then. Should I farm? <sighs> I should farm the scent seeds in that pot before we go. Just to be safe. Is the game a good volume, by the way? I probably should have asked this sooner, but I looked at the green. I'm like, that's it's probably fine. Good, good, good.
Let's go, motherfucker. Round two. Oh, bullshit. That should have hit. Speed run strats. Oh, I can interrupt him. That would have hit me if I didn't jump. Oh my god, okay, so if he does the curl, I'm kind of fucked. Okay. How am I supposed to attack him? I can't, I can't, he's swinging. Ugh. Okay, so his next punch will be on his right, so I should be over here. No. That's, uh, that was correct. But I can't stay on his right, no, in a punch. There we go. Final dungeon boss down. You got the falling star. An essence of time. The eternal light of this heavenly body acts as guide to the other essences. Well, I mean, that would have been really fucking cool to have at the beginning, so I want to rely on a fucking tree who's in love with me. Thank you, Chase. You've gathered all the essences of time. Now I can create something that will aid you. Please visit me after you've grown up. I'll wait for you no matter what. After... Uh, did she say after you've grown up or after I've grown up? And someone's like, yes. <laughs> yes. There's, uh, there's one other thing here that I don't want to do. And I want to mention, that's the Hero's Trial. Uh... When we go over the seasons, that will actually be a more substantial dungeon. And I might do it. Maybe. 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 Feels surreal to, uh, end off two games that I've almost been playing for like a whole two months now. It's just kind of bad to say that I've been playing them for two months. But it also feels good to finish them off. Chase, you've collected all eight essences of time, and know their power. Thanks to you, time flows true in me again. And I remember all I have forgotten. I'm the guardian of Nehru, Oracle of Ages, and my Maku seed can be used only by a hero who knows the powers of the essences of time. The hero who knows the essences of time sees unwavering truth across time and space. If you can do this, Chase, you can stop Varen. Take this. You got a huge Maku seed! This should penetrate evil forces. 
What a waste, you're too late. Give up. Don't you know all your efforts are for naught? We are the Gerudo Witch's twin Rova. This world is ours to manipulate. No matter how much you struggle, the Dark Rites will begin soon. Remember, our name as if it were Sorrow, the name of Twin Rova. Yet more foreshadowing that we have yet to scratch the surface on what we have to do. Chase, it's Twin Rova! Who thought the terrible Gerudo Witch Twin Rova would appear? What could her plan be? I'm filled with sorrow, just as, just as Twin Rova hopes. <laughs> She's smiling as she's saying that, though. The world is doomed! You must stop Queen Ambie at the Black Tower and cast down Varen, please. I'll take care of it. First, let's go find our good pal, uh, Maple. And we should probably save. Also, I got two other rings, I think? The Gold Luck Ring. Half damage from falls. That's not bad. Not gonna need them where we're going. Z? The first gen ring. Become something? <laughs> Become something? Question mark. Okay. Well, that was a waste. Honestly, have I even switched out my ring that I have equipped? Blue luck ring. Half damage from beams. Do I have any ring? That could help me for the fight I'm about to have. The damage taken kind of would help, I suppose. Has there ever been a run where they beat Varen by punching her? Can you even punch? Can you hurt her with a punch? Let's not, I, I, let's not find out. Let's not find out. I think that's all I got. Let's become something, shall we? Oh! Oh! Can I attack with this? No, you can't. I forgot about this! I forgot all about this! This is cute! I forgot all about that ring. Alright, you do indeed become something. Oh, I, I just left you there? Okay. All right, Maple, uh, oh shit, not here. Cause water, the, the potion could fall into the water and that would be no bueno. Please have a potion. No potion, oh no. This is going to be rough. That's what you get. I'm going to take all your fucking shit because you fucked me over. Uh, I have to go to the tower in the present, right? I think... Oh, man. This is going to be rough. And I... I, t I need like 100 rubies. I only have 15 rubies. I can't buy a potion. Is indeed in the past. I guess that makes sense since Queen Ambie is in the past. One last silly mistake before this series is done. Well, I mean, the age is half of the series. Ralph! So, Chase, you finally made it. I came to destroy Varen. Varen is taking control of Queen Ambie, right? Then to beat Varen, I must defeat Queen Ambie. 
Well, uh, Queen Ambi, Baron, I'll destroy the both of you. Then the people of this age and of our age will have peace. But what will happen to me? Um, Chase, don't forget me. I mean, I think of you as a friend. Okay, I'm going. Ralph can do it. Chase, wait. Chase, I was researching the past and found something awful. Ralph is a descendant of Queen Ambi. Do you know what this means? Ralph lives now because Ambi lived in the past. If Ambi is slain, Ralph will never exist. I came to try to stop Ralph, but I couldn't. Chase, please stop Ralph. He means to sacrifice himself for the people of this, of this age by slaying Queen Ambi. I can't allow Ralph to make such a sacrifice. You're the only one who can save Ralph and all of us, Chase. Impa and I will find a way to give strength to the villagers. Please, Chase, save Ralph. Well, I mean, it's too late. Sorrow is everywhere. I mean, we'll do our best, right? Here we go. It's dangerous past this point. There are beasts everywhere. And you can't even find your way to the top without getting lost. What's going on? Oh, this music was really good too. I think it's only three floors and then you're at the top though. Some tower. I wish this theme was used in more areas because it's a really good one. All right, man, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna beat your ass, and we're gonna go home. And we're gonna have whatever the fuck we have. Our scent seeds edible. We're gonna have scent seeds. We're gonna get fucking high on scent seeds. Technically, I guess you could say that would be what they do in uh, Din's whole. Uh, what do you want to call it? A chariot? Or like group? Crew? Because she's just dancing everywhere. They're, all, they're just traveling, dancing. Maybe, uh, maybe they get high off senses over there. <laughs> Dumb thought, mind you. Dumb thought. Ow. I'm gonna die before I even fucking get to her. I thought I was far enough to the right. How far down am I? Oh, we're at the beginning. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna take that any time to get up there. Just gotta stop being stupid. Good sign of how difficult this might be. I don't think I have to climb the tower every time I lose to her, though. Assuming I lose to her, I, I am anticipating lots of struggle. Let's not try to get a heart off these guys. They'll probably kill me. Oh my god! If I even move an inch. <sighs> nope. Just gonna stand right there. Smart! Oh yeah, because if you went up all the way through here without the Maku Seed, then if you went through any of those doors, it wouldn't matter. C. 
secret revealed. All right, final battle. It's just a tiny little thing, and then it's right into her. I fucking hate the moving one so much. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge just to get to her. Alright. You're being a big cock. You're being a big cock right now. Ugh. I also meant to put that on my, uh, B, not my A. Very uncool to have him on top of me. could have died right there. Oh, I'm, I thought I was dead. You have to follow the flame that went into the right one, I believe? One of them goes into the correct door. It was this one. I think you went this way. Yeah, no. I did not. Oh god, I'm stuck. You be a doll and okay. Well, I think I got his answer. Oh boy. How do you even fight the the sword dude when he's got his fucking sword on you? That's how you do it. <laughs> you jump over him. My screen was bigger. I'm gonna just watch the left one. I think they all go down the exact same path every time. Nope. Oh! <laughs> Why'd he shoot two that way? Oh, I'm positive we're going to have to do this every time we want to fight Baron. This is going to be the biggest challenge of the whole game. I think the owl will tell me what I need to worry about in there. How'd that hit me? Truth glares at your back. So follow the one that's behind me. Yeah, on my left. I was right. Okay. Thank God. Oh shit, no, we, we won't have to deal with that whole thing again. I forgot how big her castle was. I mean, it's not that huge. But now I get to deal with this. You must be Ralph of Ambie's line. Ha! I have no time for such a small fry. Be gone with you. Or do you mean to fight me? Don't make me laugh. 
Fool, this is the body of Ambies, your ancestor. If you slay me, you will vanish from this world. Do you still wish to fight? You're on top of my head, Ralph. You trickster! Fine! If I slay you, I vanish! Maybe it is terrifying, but if I must, I must. To do nothing and live just isn't me. And it means nothing. I will destroy you to protect the people of this age. And to protect Nehru. He got knocked. He got bopped. Oh, Chase! Because of my kindness, young Ralph still lives. But you still attack me? If you damage Ambi's body, Ralph will vanish. You can't intend to end your dear friend's life by your own hand. <laughs> Ralph? That voice, Chase. I couldn't do it. Don't I look like the fool? Nehru. Is there anything else? I'm pretty sure the fight's very similar. We have to pull her out of Ambi's body and then start laying into her. You come despite my warning? Do you not value life? Or are you a mere fool? Regardless, it won't be easy. I'll teach you your place. I'll not be as kind as before. Spoilers! I gotta jump now. Aw, oh, you motherfucker. I need... I'm gonna have to pull that out. When, like, before I even think I'm gonna get hurt. I to be beaten by this boy. Chase, what happened? I feel as though I've been caught in a bad dream, as if pure evil had inhabited my body. What? I must leave at once. I see worry in your eyes. I should have done as I was told. That was bad localization. And she tries to take over Link, too. Well done. I thought I might possess you this time. Perhaps you have a different flavor from that fool Ralph. You've seen me like this before, but this is my true form. You'll regret making me show my true might. I have completely forgotten how to fight her, by the way. I'll give you reasons to fear Varen, Sorceress of Shadows. I think I just attack her? Oh, shit. She just floated into me. Do I have to fight Varen again as Ambi? I do. This is going to be a long fight. Toss your shit out already! I wonder if I can speed it up by doing a uh, spin attack. Nope. Three hits no matter what. on through. This might be a long night. Oh 
my god, I can't even reach her. Oh. Boy. Am I gonna... I might have to save scum a bit. Because I'm gonna run out of, uh... These seeds. I'm gonna have to save scum just to do that. I just wanted to make sure of it. Three hits all the time. I wish you could like press start and skip everything because now I have to go through all the text. I'm not even going to try to attack her when she's doing that. Are the beams hurting her? The beams are! I didn't think they did. Uh, where, uh, did I get hit by the Dark Link? pressed the wrong button. It's because I crossed him over. I, I'm very used to... I don't know why I did that, but I always have my jump on my B and I slipped him up for this one. I'm stupid. Living the dream right now. Oh, my God. I do not want to get hit in this phase. Oh my god, they drop hearts? What? Two? Thanks, buddy. This should not have happened to me. Chase, are you alright? Chase, you did it! Even I thought it was over this time, but Nehru was there. She can't always remain helpless. I'm going to train so I'll be able to protect Nehru on my own. You've finally beaten Baron. Now the chaotic flows of time should return to normal. Shall we go back to the village? You won't get away so easily. When did Link get so strong that he could 
push people so far away. How cold of you to run off and leave me all alone. But my, aren't you courageous? You spoiled all my plans. I hope to avoid revealing this vile shape. You'll pay for my humiliation with your life. Now, Chase, it is your turn to taste despair. And the fear of death. Deadass, I have no idea how to fight this. I have completely forgotten. So let's see if I can't remember along the way. That's a good start. Is she supposed to show her face at some point? What have I signed myself up for? What have I signed myself up for? We might be here a while. Now I know that uh, the Dark Links drop hearts, though. That's going to be helpful information. And yeah, maybe it is- what? Maybe it is Monokuma that's actually controlling her, who knows? Farron's Monokuma? Find out in the next game theory. Alright. Phase one. Just keep sitting there. Let me beat on you for a bit. Alright. Oh. No! Oh! No! Why did she come in from that side? Maybe I can beat her without being touched once? Maybe? If I want to make this as painless on myself as possible, I'm going to make sure every slash on her is a spin slash. You son of a bitch! Alright, she goes in an A. She goes in an 8 format. Ah! I thought she was going in like corners and shit. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, it's my last three. I can't, I can't uh, miss them, can I? Ugh.
Where the hell did she drop that spider? This isn't even my final form. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Oh my god. Uh. Thank you. Good. Full hearts. Not that it's going to be of any help. I could go back and get the ring that lowers my damage, but it's I, I'm going to have to fight her for longer anyway. So it's almost as if I'm not paying back anything. Maybe if I'm lucky, she'll stay in turtle form forever and just beat the shit out of her. Uh-oh. I don't actually remember how to fight that one! I- ah, uh, what? Oh, no. Is that scent? No. <laughs> Is it bombs? It hit me anyway! I'm dead. Ah, that stuns her at least. Got some knowledge. Posthumous knowledge. I have to reset the game, by the way. Gotta reset. Because I saved with some seeds. We'll get this shit. And I'll waste a seed while doing it. This was a worse idea than Pokemon Master Sex. GG, Game Freak. You guys have outed yourselves. You were horny on main. I wonder what would have happened if she did get a hold of Link. It would have been kind of cool if, after all of the Ralph fails that happened, like, she took over Link, and you had to play as Ralph, and try to save Link from Varen, and then trigger the final fight. But I'm just sounding like a masochist right now, aren't I? I am so glad that they give you a heart every time. Get out of here. I'm getting better at that fight. 
She has three forms. I think a fourth one, too? She's arguably much harder than Onox. Or Onyx, as it's supposed to be, but I'm used to calling him Onox now. It was a mistranslation for him, and I think his name might even be Oryx, but uh, once you do the, we'll get there, but once you do the full secret thing, they say his correct name, but his name's spelt Onox through the entirety of, of uh, say, uh, season? Seasons. You need to let me hit you. I didn't think you'd listen. I didn't jump! Alright, figure eight. Hearts off those? <gasps> well, my body withers, but you are too late. My role was to disrupt the currents of time, to flood humanity in sorrow. The despair that fills this land has already passed through this tower and on to Twin Roba. I see it, burning blue. The Flame of Sorrow. Thank fuck. I thought she had a fourth form. I might be- I might be crazy. Chase, what's happening inside? Nothing, I'm just a badass, motherfucker. Chase, I'm so glad you're safe, thank goodness. You really beat Varen, didn't you? Nice work, Chase. You're amazing. Huh? Queen Ambie. She saw you get shut in and turned and ran. Let's go. Let's go. What? Are you gonna take on Ralph? Chase, you're safe. I just called my knights from the palace to help since you were locked inside the tower. Don't startle me like that. I thought Varen's tricks had gotten to you again. Chase, thanks to you, everyone is back to normal. I thank you. That wasn't as painful as I thought it was gonna be. Maybe I'm just a super gamer after all. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Chase, my respect for you has grown. I thought it was over when you got locked in the tower. I never thought you'd outdo me. I've been outdoing you, buddy. I'm sorry. Ralph is my grandson's grandson's grandson. You too have great courage. You should be the pride of my people. And you, Queen Ambie, Varen is gone, so you can be my great 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 grandmother. A queen, I'm so proud. How rude, I am still young. Don't call me granny. I am reluctant to part, but we must return to our own age. We did it. All is well in this age. You may return without worry, and she'll never forget you. Well, the story is far from over. Chase, don't think it ends here. Foreboding silhouettes. Behold, Varen, the troubles you caused have filled the land with cries of sorrow, and has given birth to the flame of sorrow, which burns brightly. When his flame brightens into the darkness, our wish will be granted. Uh. And that's Oracle of Ages. Both games down in one night. That feels good. I think I've said it plenty already. But the Oracle games 
are probably one of my all-time favorite games, like, in the top ten. They're in the top ten. Link to the Past is literally top three. And if Final Fantasy VII and Yakuza Zero didn't exist, I would be cheating by having two Legend of Zelda games at top three. And they pra I practically... It's, it's shitty of me. It's, it's almost too indecisive. That's a really cute image, by the way. It's almost too indecisive of me that I could just say that Link to the Past and the Oracle games are interchangeable for me. I love these games, and we're not even done. Oh, Link's teaching Ralph how to use the sword. <laughs> Wait. Was that perhaps inspiration for Wind Waker Link's super spin attack? I had never considered that before. There's Ambi making the, the statue of Link. A fitting tribute. This was after Wind Waker, wasn't it? No, you're right! No, what? Was it? I don't know! Yeah, this was before. This had to have been before. There's more Wind Waker references in Minish Cap, another game that I want to play, that I've never actually fully played. I've went through two dungeons in that game and I never looked back. I, I don't know what stopped me from not completing or even playing most of Minish Cap. I don't remember a damn thing from the little that I played either. That that's might, might that might be on the table in the future. That might be on the table in the future. I never played that one. But yeah, Oracle of Ages is great. I prefer Seasons. Ages is still phenomenal though. Literally one to one, just perfect games. They're just wonderful little titles that I hope someday with all my screaming and hollering of them that Nintendo gives us a remake of them like they did Awakening. One can only hope. I'll gladly stream these games again if they get a remake. But as I've been for, uh, foreboding? No, that's not the right word. As I've been alluding to, we're not done. We got Oracle of Seasons left to do, and we're going to be doing it. Uh, probably not Monday, because Monday we are definitely playing CrossCode. We are 1,000% just going to dive in for like a three, four hour session of CrossCode. If I feel like it, I might toss in uh, seasons, maybe. But I kind of want to get a good bite out of uh, out of CrossCode. I, I miss Leah, damn it. I miss Leah. She's, she was such a, she's such a fucking charming character. And I still have so much more of that game to, explore, to uh, get into. But there you have it. Ages is knocked out. What's my password? Jot that one down. Save and quit. Jot that one down. I'm going to smack on a nice snip right now. Whip. There we go. I'm going to remember that. And when we start seasons, probably I might do a Wednesday stream next week. I might. And just start up seasons. We'll see. But this has been a fun time. This has been a incredibly enjoyable stream. I uh, I thank everybody for coming out. I thank the uh, bit donations that I got today. I didn't think I'd ever be saying that again after the incredible 6K from forever ago from Taz. She, like they're, I know them too. They're another friend. Great person. I love them. Yeah. If you haven't played Ages before, you haven't played Trials of Mana before, get into it. But that's going to be it for ages. Next week, sometime, seasons.